Got two shabs. Hello, coffee, my old friend. <laughs> I'll put you in my mouth again. I, oh. realized, I realized as I was saying it how that sounds. Yeah, so fucking stupid. Hey! 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 Oh, welcome to Poop Talk. Poop Talk <laughs> with, with Robin Adam. <laughs> welcome to Stupid Movies, episode 149. Yes, where we watch them so you don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> Indeed. And this week we watched an accidental zombie named. Ted. 2017, not rated, 83 yeah. minutes. Reasonably recent. Reasonably. We're watching new movies. So yeah, should say that this is, a, this is a not a movie. horror movie. Adam, with Valentine's Day coming up, <gasps> wanted to pick a lovey dubby movie. We should do the whole episode wearing diapers. <laughs> I mean, granted, we're both already wearing diapers, but we have clothes on over them. <laughs> yeah, so this is one of two. We both wanted to pick a lovey dovey one. Yep. Um, but Adam wanted to go the rom com route. I, I went rom com. Rom com. A little something different every now and then. <laughs> right. This is definitely different. All right, so uh, directed by Ann Wells. Ann Wells, yep. yep. Starring the man, the myth, the legend, Kane Hodder. Yeah, which surprised me. I had no clue. He's. I love him so much. How can you not love yeah. Kane Hodder? Uh, also had uh, Cameron McKendry, um, Naomi Grossman, Jeremy, <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy, Gary Anthony Williams, um, bunch of other people. Bunch of other people. Pretty big yeah. cast. So this movie is our main character Ted, who has just this atrocious family. <laughs> Like, every single one of yeah. these people is horrible. Horrible, horrible people. Uh, he is on a vacation in the Caribbean, I think they said. He gets turned into a zombie. By some, like... By some accident. Voodoo. Like, voodoo that went wrong. Supposed to be a good luck thing. Right. Um, and he is in denial about being a zombie. Uh, he meets this girl who is pretty cute. Yeah. Um, who is a vampire. But she is in denial about being a vampire. Right. And so then it's kind of their... Love story. So, okay. Yeah. So, what do we like about this? Well, I think we both agree, like, the biggest thing oh, is having Kane, Kane Hodder in it. Yeah. Oh, for he sure. He was great. He has a scene, and we were talking, I don't recall seeing him do this in any other movie. Uh, he has a scene towards the end where he's crying, and he's full on, like, yeah. he really was crying. Yeah. And it, it certainly looked like it if he wasn't. Both of us were just like, oh man. I wanted to hug him. Do you need a hug or something, Jason? I'll come here. <laughs> come yeah. here, Victor Carly. I'll, I'll hug you. I'll make it all go away. Yeah. Like, it was really believable. Yeah. So then I like the characters for the most part. I mean, yeah. even the obnoxious, goofy ones, they're, you know, they're still likable. They were well written and, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, the one character, what, Mel? Mel? She was oh funny. my God. Yeah, she was funny. Like, just stupid funny kind yeah. of stuff, you know. It's, uh, and, and the acting, I mean, for what it is, is pretty good. Yeah. Um, you, you know, I, I really like just the whole concept of this. Yeah. It's like he's a zombie, but he's still self-aware. And he's like, I'm not going to be a zombie. I'm not a zombie. I'm not a zombie. And and the vampire, who's, you know, sitting yeah. there sucking on a blood-flavored lollipop. Lo yeah, lollipop. And, and she's like, but I'm not a vampire. And mm -hmm. it's like, it is obvious to literally everyone. When they're in the therapy yeah. session, some of those, that's some of the best parts of the movie to me. Yep. And the writing was pretty good. Yeah. I thought, you know, the dialogue fit for what it was and the, just the story arc. Simple. Yeah. But effective. Um, the the makeup was pretty good. Yes, the there weren't a lot Not of special lot, effects but... to this, but especially the zombie character, watching him progressively becoming worse over the course of the movie. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And it's very subtle, so unless I mean, yeah, they never really point it out, no. except for when you know He's chunks of skin, skin off. off. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, which that was gross. That was probably the that was a really good effect. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. uh, the side characters were probably. I think we agreed it was our yeah. favorite. Characters. I mean, the main characters were fine and all, but oh, yeah. you know, like the family, the crazy family, and the the uh, therapy people. Thank you. Yep. They they were probably the mo most entertaining. Yeah. The part. people at work. Yeah. Mel. Yeah. Kane Hodder knocks it out. Right. There. She was great. Yeah. She was awkward as yeah. hell. Uh, this this movie, the two main characters, the zombie and the vampire, were really the only normal human beings right. yeah. in the movie. Everyone else was mm -hmm. super over-the-top crazy. Goofy and silly. Um, 
And I kind of like that. The two monsters are the only ones who act like humans. Right. And all Straight of the rest laced. who are humans are just like yeah. out there. Um, and some of the humor was good. Yeah. Not all of it. Some of it was... Some of it went a little too hit far. Hit or miss. Or it was too over the top. Yeah. Which I'm all for. But yeah, but some of the humor was good. It wasn't, at least for me, not laugh out loud funny. But, I, you know, I chuckled. Yeah. You know. I did too. There were some <laughs> giggles in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I really like um, the character of Poppy. The grandfather. Oh yeah, he was funny. He was really funny, and you know the whole time he's sitting there, and you're not sure if there's something wrong with his brain or what's going on. But he's got like a crown, crown. but it looks like it's made out of aluminum foil, right? Um, and like the the they're bent. He almost reminds me of like Jughead from the old Archie cartoons. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The, the sets in this and setting, it, it was I liked it. You know, the the office looked cool. Yeah. Like the workstations, that was cool, man. It had like kind of an old, almost like uh, you know, the old school horror movies, like a dungeon type vibe to it. Yeah. I it, like that. It had a little bit of a steampunk aesthetic mm. to it as well, where it was like, it was well lit, but it was by old ass light bulbs. Yeah, yeah. That kind of flickered in and out all the time. That was, was cool. Yeah, and it was like boards like nailed together between the cubicles. Yeah. And it was shot well. It was shot really well. Great quality. Yeah. You know, good all camera. That. You, I don't know what they were using, but. No. Probably a red. Probably. It kind of looked like a red or a red. something like that level. But it was, it was look, it looked good. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. technically and uh, all that it was good. I, I, you know, editing and all that was fine. Yeah. It's almost kind of chilly. They were here. technically proficient. Mm -hmm. What they did was good. Yeah, exactly. Um, you know, the side plots to me, that might be my favorite part of it. The, the main story, it's like, eh, okay, whatever. But some of the little things on the side, like, she's a vampire, and the whole time you see her sucking on this lollipop, and then you find out at the end that she's making them herself out of human blood. Right. That's the, the that she gets started. from, yeah. from uh, the hospital, the, the morgue. In the morgue. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I got kind of chilly, but I don't want to put it on. Oh, that looks creepy as fuck on camera. Whoa. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so, what didn't we like about this movie? I will say, this is one of, for me... I don't me, like that my glasses are dirty. I hate that. See shit. No, no. For me, this is one of those movies that was kind of in the middle. It was like, I didn't... The, oh! <laughs> I felt like I was being watched. Oh, they're watching you. They, oh, you are. Hi! Hi! Where'd you come from? Oh, shit, I can see. Um, <laughs> It's one of those where, it, like, there's nothing I really loved about it, but nothing I really disliked or hated about it either. So anyway, obviously it wasn't a horror movie. It is not a horror Which is fine, movie. but you know. You, you, uh, and no, when really. you throw the Z word in your title, I'm kind of, I'm setting an expectation. And this did not meet that expectation. Right. You're thinking more Shaun of the Dead style yep. horror comedy, comedy horror, you know. But there really wasn't any other than him being a zombie and her vampire yeah. and yada yada. Yeah. Which is fine. There, there was no horror in this movie. There's yeah. no jump scenes. There's no scares. Nothing. There's no... No atmosphere, no tense, no yeah. suspense, nothing. There's um, really, with the exception of one or two scenes, there's no blood. Mm -hmm. There's no gore. Right. There's no, no nudity. Movie. Yep. Just some uh, sexual situations, we could say. Some references. References. Yeah. You know, you can't... I, I guess you can't really hold that against the movie because that's not what it is. That's not what it is. So. so it doesn't take away from the movie. But, you know, it's make sure you understand that's what you're watching going in. Right. Some of the humor is hit or miss. Yeah. You know, and this is a mood movie. Yeah, you I, have to be in the right gotta mood. You got to be for in this. the right mood yeah. for it and you know, I don't I don't know. Maybe yeah. we weren't. Cuz you said the first time you watched I, it. I've seen it twice now. And the first time I was laughing very very hard. I mean, not quite, you know, rolling on the right. floor or anything laughing Jiggling not your crying. belly. But yeah, I I was laughing about it. Yeah. And and this time I don't know, the jokes just didn't hit Did as it? well, so I think it depends on what mood you're in. Yeah, and and, and for me it just it wasn't very funny. I mean, there was moments that I kind of laughed a little bit, yeah. you know, but um and that's okay, but maybe if I watch it again, which I won't. Um, <laughs> it'd be funnier. Like, if you're drinking when you watch this, that this movie be. would have been way funnier. That could, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's one of those. I think I was probably sleep-deprived well, when I watched it, and it made, made it funnier. So, but yeah, some of the jokes was hit or miss. Yeah. Uh, too over the top where it just didn't... I get what they're doing, and I see why it could be funny, yeah. but it wasn't. It was like, eh, just... Some of it was just kind of obnoxious Yeah, to me. Yeah, exactly. The... the the Naomi Grossman, Gary Anthony Williams, and I know I keep coming back to those two, right. but they are like the main humor of the movie, right. really. And 
they were really funny and I loved them, but they were too much and they were obnoxious as hell. Yeah. I, mean, I just wanted to punch them it, both it at kept, points. <laughs> it kept kind of being the same stuff they were doing, just in a different... Right. To come bring new jokes. Yeah, it bring, was just like, like said we, differently. Or... We get it. You're perverts. I'm a pervert. I like pervert humor. But let's come up with some other jokes, too. Like, I make more than just dick jokes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. I do. No, I, I really, I do make no. more than... You're like, no, <laughs> well, no, not I, really. But no, I do. I, I really do. Uh, some of the acting, too, was a little... Same, yeah. None of it was bad. No, no, no. There was no, no bad. bad acting in this. But some of it, the choices they went with, I would not have gone with. Right. And now, again, see, most of this is because it's not a horror movie, I guess. Yeah. Um, you know, but the pacing, it was a slow... The I mean, the but rom-coms slow. typically aren't going to be fast-paced. Right. You know, it wasn't boring. I wouldn't say it was boring because I didn't, no. I didn't feel bored, but it's just kind of like, eh, you're sitting there. There was some stuff that's like, let's move it along. Yeah, you it's know. like, okay, you're not a zombie, but you are. You, it's <laughs> obvious that you are. Blah, 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 blah. Exactly. No, you know, yeah. not a bad thing, but it's yeah. a rom com. Yeah. I'm not a big rom com fan. I'm, There's some I like, you know, if I, I watch it with my wife, but. He watches way more rom coms than I do. <laughs> I don't know, way more, but. There's a few I, I, I do like. Counting this know? movie. In the past two years, I have seen this movie. <laughs> I couldn't name another. Oh, oh, oh. I couldn't name another rom com I've watched mm. in the past couple of years. I, it's just not. I don't like them. I don't yeah. find them romantic, and I don't find them funny. Right. I just find them obnoxious. Yeah. No. Yeah, it's not my thing either. You know. And so this just wasn't really my cup of tea. It was okay. Yeah. Um, There's nothing bad about it. No, it's not a bad movie. It's not poorly made. It's competent, you know. I, it's a lot better than some of the things we've seen. <laughs> yes. All the Krampus movies are better than that for sure, you know. Um, but, you know, eh. So I guess for me, middle of the road, not great, not horrible. Just meh. I, I won't say go watch it. I mean, if you want to, by all means, scope it out. You know, it might be a good Valentine date movie. If, if you're looking for a rom-com that's got a few very minor horror elements in it, yeah, this would be a good choice. So if you're a horror fan, things. yeah, and your wife, girlfriend, whatever, fiance, boyfriend, boyfriend. you know, whatever, goat, a goat <laughs> isn't into horror movies, and they want to watch a lovey movie, but you don't want to watch a full-on lovey movie, so then you want something a little bit of horror, a little bit of horror, this might be a compromise for you, and she may fiddle your sack. Afterwards, or your lady sack, or your lady sack, or, woman. or your goat nipple. Middle of the road. I'm gonna go four out of eight. Perfect. You know, I did high can hotter and stuff. I four out of eight. Yeah, I liked it. I think a little bit more than you, just oh, because yeah. of the humor. Uh, it, it it tickled my pickle for the humor I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a nickel. <laughs> so I'll, I'll give it a five and a half out of eight. Fair enough. You've got some in your beard. I got some in my beard. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Come talk to us. Come talk to we're us. We're lonely. <laughs> we're, we have wives for Valentine's Day, but we're men. We're men in tights. <laughs> Ooh. Tight balls. Roam around the forest <laughs> looking for fights. <laughs> I can do the whole movie if you want. I figured you could, yeah. <laughs> so if you want to hear him do the whole movie, visit Facebook.com slash stupid movies. That's right. Sorry, I stepped on you. Oh, man. it's Valentine's You're Day. A white We're playing. Stance. Well, I've got my legs spread open. Uh, uh, Instagram at stupid movies. Yep. At the horror punk. At Dr. Schatz Turner. I logged in. Oh, hey. I checked her email too. We didn't have anything. So if you want to send it, be the first to send us something. Stupid movies at Outlook.com. Stupid movies at Outlook.com. Recommend a movie. Yeah. Uh, or don't. Or don't. We probably won't take your recommendation. Probably not. We've taken some. We've taken some. We're looking at you, Taylor. <laughs> they haven't been good. <laughs> so, hey, on that note, if you are an indie person, director, or acted in an indie movie or something like that, and you think it would be a good fit for the show, let us know. Yeah, for sure. Uh, as you have seen, we're more than happy to uh, include video from you. If you have something you want to say or, mm -hmm. you know, throw an intro for us, that's really freaking cool. Yep. Um, but get in touch with us, man. We love the indie scene, and we want to highlight 
people who are doing this. Help you out if you can. And the downside about the indie scene is sometimes it's really hard to find the material we're looking for, you know? It's Very really true. hard to... Uh, if some of the stuff lately we've just happened to stumble across because someone else out there mentioned it. Right. Um, so so if, if you are if you have something you want spotlighted, man, let us know and we'll watch it. We'll be honest. Yeah. Because if there's shit that's bad about it, we're going to tell you. But Sorry. we're going to make sure everyone knows how good your movie is. Yeah, exactly. So, so if we can help in any capacity, we will do so. So if you have a movie you directed or directed, let us know. Did you just say directed or erected? No. Well, so... All right. Boom! We will... We'll see you next week for another movie. Another rom-com? No. You know, your duck quack. Your your bird word. Your, bird your, <laughs> your turtle myrtle. Uh, you know, your peacock. I'm just going to let you keep going. I'm going to see where this goes. Your snake crank. Oh. Uh, oh, that, that's that pretty good. good. Your uh, flamingo dingo. Oh. Oh. oh getting better. Your, your lion pion. No, that's not stupid. No, that's stupid. No, that your, your, your tiger. She's going to play with your dick, is <laughs> what Rob's trying to say. <laughs>